Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our political conversation. And today we are going to have a political conversation about the position that Kenya should take in the war of Israel and Palestinian. And what are the factors we must look at first before we come up with national position on the, the, the war between the Palestinians and the Israelites. Because whenever we should come up with the, our position, first we must look at the national security. Because any position we must make, then it should be a position which safeguards our national security so that we can have peace and harmony in our nation. And that means that whenever we make up that kind of position, we must avoid making a political decision which makes us to look good to some people. So actually that's what will be the discussion of the day. But before we dive deeper and try to analyze that, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like, share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it is good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always remember to smash the bell button. Because once you smash the bell button, it means you give YouTube an okay to notify you whenever we come up with any political content. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political content. And now, let us go back and dive in so that we can look at which position should our country Kenya take in Israel-Palestinian war. And by taking the position, we must know first that that position must safeguard our national security. That position should create peace and harmony in our nation. Because Kenya is tribes and in Kenya we also have various regions. We have Muslims, also we have Christians. So whenever we are making that position as a country, we must acknowledge all those things so that whenever we come up with that position, then that position should be the best position for our country national security. And also, we must make a position being in or, or, or being realistic of what is happening in the world. When we are making that position, we must acknowledge that for us to have in the Middle East what we call a long-lasting peace, then we must have two states living side by side. We must acknowledge that the Palestinians have the right to have their independence, to have their states, as it was stated in the Oslo Statement. And at the same same time, we must know that Israel must be also be able to take care of its security. And therefore, we must condemn what the Hamas did to Israel. Because what Hamas did to Israel is equal to terrorism. So we must acknowledge that. And also we must say that Israel should not go for a revenge because the people who are going to be affected are actually the Syrian, the Palestinians, 
who actually even don't know what's going on. So we must safeguard the humanitarian rights in the Gaza Strip so that the Israelite forces should not go and enter to the Gaza and force the biggest population to move out of their homes because this will lead to humanitarian catastrophe. So we must acknowledge all those for us to come up with a good foreign policy. We must do that to come up with the position we should take, which is an informed kind of position. Because that war has actually divided Africa into two. Because we have people who are supporting the Palestinians, like South Africa, the AU, they are supporting Palestinians and the need to form a Palestinian nation and an, a, 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 an Israelite nation. So they are supporting that we should have two nations living side by side. But I think the position which was made by our president, William Samoruto, I think that position was actually a political position because I don't think that it went deeper to safeguard our national security. And that's why whenever we are coming up with a foreign policy, the decision of coming up with that foreign, foreign policy should not be a one-man show. Even that one should be talked by the parliamentarians. Our two assembly must talk about that and then the president should be brought in so that we can have a foreign policy in this war between the Israelites and the Palestinians. And we should avoid coming up with a political position because that may cause our national security. I don't know what's your take about the position that the president took in the Israel-Palestinian war. And what could be your position if you were to be given that chance of coming up with a foreign policy which is concerned about the Israel-Palestinian war. Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time, please take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always remember to smash or to hit the notification bell because that's the only way to give YouTube an okay to send you notification whenever we come up with any political content into YouTube. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to this YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly. And with that, I say Thank you a lot until we meet in our next political conversation.